In the last three years, I've built two companies to the multiple seven figure level. And at the same time, I have maintained incredible relationship with my wife, with my kids, and have been taking care of my body at an extremely high level. And I wanna share with you my life and time management system that I use to this day to manage my time on a weekly basis. So in the beginning phases of my business career, I really struggled with time management. I think that time management was probably one of my lowest skill sets and it was one of the biggest things that I struggled with because as an entrepreneur, as a new entrepreneur, I didn't have any time management skills. I literally was working for somebody else and then you know I didn't know how to really plan my week and I wasn't used to a situation where I was fully accountable for my own schedule, for my own day-to-day -day routine. And I didn't have a system for managing my time. And so the first time management system that I came across was from a book called The Perfect Day Formula. Shout out to Craig Valentine on that book because that book literally changed my life in that season of my life because it gave me a system to manage my time by. This system gave me structure on managing my time. Now, as I have grown and as I've grown multiple companies and grown to a higher level, this system has evolved and there's been several people who have influenced me in this category, in this arena. Uh, Tony Robbins has a bit, been a big influence. He's got an incredible time management system. Craig Ballantyne has been an incredible influence. Taylor Welch has been an incredible influence. There's a lot of time management systems out there. So I wanna show you the time management system now that I use to ensure that not only am I succeeding in my business life, but I'm succeeding in my personal life as well. So what I do, the foundation of my time management system is I have what I call uh, categories of improvement. I got this term from Tony Robbins. Um, he uses this term in his time of your life program. And so I have categories of improvement and these are the categories, these are the core categories that I constantly focus on improving in my business and in my life. So in my business, I have about seven core categories that I focus on improving. Now, you may see me looking down. This is my actual time management journal that I use every single week. I have actually eight business core areas that I'm constantly focusing on improving. Now, what you need to do, because my eight core areas are gonna be different than yours, I will give you an example of my eight, but you need to look at your core responsibilities inside of your professional life. So if you're an entrepreneur, you're running a business, you need to look at your core areas of responsibility, your core categories of improvement. These are the areas that you constantly want to put attention towards to where if you aren't putting attention towards this area, that area of the business is going to suffer. So these are the categories of constant improvement for your business. So the first category that I focus on is I am the visionary of my companies. And so that is the first category. So I have responsibilities that I need to focus on as the visionary and I need to put time towards thinking. I need to put time towards strategy. I need to put time towards looking ahead at the future and future moves that we need to do inside of the company. So that's one of my first responsibilities. Second responsibility that I categorize is empowering my team. And so this includes like managing my team, meeting with my team one-on-one, -on -one, making sure that all their needs are being met, making sure that all of my team members are, are performing. But really empowering team means helping to develop and train my team members. Third area is promotion and content. Promotion and content. So in any of my companies, promotion and content are a main driver of revenue for the company. Like that's one of my core responsibilities that I'm highly involved in is the promotion side because I'm that's one of my core skill sets. So I've always been heavily involved in the promotion or marketing department of my companies. Sales are obviously a significant component of any business and I've always been fairly heavily involved in the sales department. Now I am not in the actual sales seats inside of any of my companies, but I do meet with 
the sales team occasionally, and I do meet with some of the sales leaders as well. Then another category of improvement that we focus on inside of our coaching company is maximizing client experience. We wanna constantly be looking at how can we maximize our client experience, but if you have any kind of customers, you wanna look at how can you maximize your customer experience. So that's an area of constant improvement. I also develop products, and so I want to make world-class products. So that is an area of improvement. And then finance. Finance is something that if you don't put attention towards, it's not going to grow. So we wanna constantly be putting attention towards our finances and have a system for managing our finances but if we neglect it, our finances are going to decline. We're all in business so that we can improve our, our financial situation. I don't know anybody who's in business who doesn't wanna improve their financial situation, but if we don't take time and put attention towards it, put attention towards managing our finances well, then our, finance, our financial area will suffer. I have a real estate company that I don't sit in any of the seats. So I have another real estate company. And so I'm involved at a much higher level on the real estate side of things. So that is its own category. So those are my eight categories of improvement for my professional side. Now, what you need to do is you need to evaluate your own professional life and evaluate your categories of improvement. These are the categories that you wanna consistently put attention towards for your business. Now, for my personal life, I have seven categories of improvement for my personal life. So the first category of improvement is going to be growth and learning. So one of my core values is a relentless pursuit of excellence. So I wanna constantly be growing. And so this is one of the areas that I wanna put attention towards. I wanna to look at how am I growing every single week. And then another area of constant improvement for me is what I call physical power. Now, this is just another term for taking care of my body. So taking care of my physical body. That is something that if you don't put attention towards, your body will decline. And as entrepreneurs, we have to intentionally take time and focus on making sure that our body is taken care of and that we are empowering our body to where we are a well-oiled machine and we can show up fully physically for our business. And one of my mentors used to say that anytime biology and mindset gets into a fight, biology always wins. So no matter how much mindset work you have done, if your body is physically weak, then it's going to overtake your mindset. If your body gets sick, it's going to overtake your mindset, and that's the worst thing that can happen for your business. So I plan every single day what I'm going to do to empower my body physically. And then I have a spiritual category. That is something that's extremely important to me. My relationship with God is extremely important, and I wanna make sure that that is not neglected ever because this is one of my core areas of improvement that I wanna constantly focus on as well. And then I have my family, so I have my wife, and my incredible kids, I wanna make sure that I am prioritizing them. I am constantly growing in this area as well. And then I have my personal finances. I wanna make sure that I'm putting time towards my personal finances as well. And then I have my friends. I wanna make sure that I have healthy and growing friendships. I wanna make sure I'm reaching out to friends. I have a great connection with my friends. And then last section of my categories of improvements, is the fun section. We all are focusing on growing our business. We all are focusing on growing wealth. And I know for me personally that my fun category suffered greatly over many years of growing my businesses. And there was a time and place where I just said, enough is enough. I'm going to make sure that I'm doing something fun every single week in my, in my life gonna make sure that I'm having fun every single week. And so if we don't plan though, if we, if we neglect an area and we don't actually plan for it, that area will go neglected and that area is going to suffer. And so fun will suffer if it's not prioritized, if it's not planned. And so what I do is I have these categories of improvement every week and every week I sit down and I go through each one of these categories and I ask myself, what do I need to do to move the needle forward in this category? What do I need to do to move the needle forward in this category? And I will brain dump everything that I need to do to move the needle forward in the, each one of these categories 
each week. Now, there are some categories where I don't need to do much that week. And so it may not require any time, but I'm at least looking at every single one of my categories of improvement each week. Every single week, they're at least getting some kind of attention. And if that attention is just looking and making sure that I don't need to do anything that week, then there, it's at least getting attention. Once I get everything brain dumped out of my brain onto paper, now I take all of those tasks and I plug them into my calendar. So you can see here, I have labeled every day of the week on this side. And what I do is I take all of these tasks that I need to get done this week and I assign them to a day. And so each day I have a list of things that I need to get done that day. So I take it now from this journal and I plug it into my Google Calendar. And so literally I run my life from my Google Calendar. So when I pull up my Google Calendar, I can see the exact breakdown of what I am supposed to do every single day. And I've already done the hard work. I've already done the hard work before the week starts. So every day when I wake up, I know exactly what my agenda is. And I know that I'm living an incredibly well-balanced life. I'm moving forward in every single one of the areas of improvement that I want to move forward in. And this is how I've been able to build two multiple seven figure businesses over the last three years, while at the same time, not sacrificing my relationships or my body or my friendships or fun is because I'm always focusing on these vital constant areas of improvement and nothing is getting neglected. So guys, this is the exact system I'm using right now to run multiple seven figure businesses and live an incredible life. So take it, use it in your own life and business. I really hope that this helps you. Hey, I hope you liked this video. If you did like this video, go ahead and click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click that subscribe button below. And if you are looking to grow your real estate wholesaling or flipping company, I have attached some resources in the description below to help you grow your business.